What's up? What's happening? This is the new Osmo Action 4. We're gonna unbox it and talk through some of the specs. That is how the Osmo Action 4 comes. Really nice slimline box. So we just go ahead and unbox it. I'm just gonna pop my knife in to take the cellophane wrap off and then cut along the top. Rip it open, discard that. Open here, following the instructions. And you're greeted by the Osmo Action 4 pouch. So let's pull that out first of all and take a look. Open that up, there we go. Get rid of that. And then this is the actual camera unit right here. Break this plastic. And there is the actual camera itself. Peeling that off, that is the Osmo Action 4. You've got the magnetic mount. You've got your two screws and your curved sticky. You've got your charge cable. You've got a second magnetic clip. You've got the instructions. Put the knife away and we can talk about the camera now. Let's talk about the specs of the Osmo Action 4. So this shoots 4K 120 frames per second, meaning that you can slow it down to five times. Now, I primarily shoot mountain bike point of view with an action camera, and I'm gonna be using it at 24 frames per second. You can also shoot at 4K 4x3, meaning that you've got that tall frame that you can crop into really nicely for Instagram Reels and Instagram Stories. The Osmo Action 4 captures a field of view of 155 degrees. This is going to give a really nice perspective when riding down a trail. You're gonna capture the trail that you're riding. You're gonna capture the edge of your handlebars and then also the rider in front or the trail in front and a really nice space for the horizon. I'm primarily shooting in that ultra wide setting. I feel it really immerses the viewer into the trail that you're riding. The main way that I like to capture point of view is on a chest mounted harness like this. So you can actually see the Osmo Action 4 set up on the Osmo chesty. You've also got the option to have it mounted on the back which gives some really unique and interesting perspectives of a rider behind. It fits really well, it's comfortable to wear. I in fact rode with this for a full day and was not the least bit bothered about it. One thing that I do love is just how easy it is to clip the camera on and off. That's something that I really appreciate. I mean, look how easy it is. It's ridiculous, one-handed. On the Osmo Action 4, there are four different levels of stabilization. I'm gonna go for a ride, take you down a trail, and show you each one in use, and why you might want to use it, and why you might not want to. You can have it completely turned off, which is gonna give you the least amount of stabilization. And in fact, in this clip, you can actually see that for mountain biking, and especially when shooting POV, it's virtually unwatchable. It makes you feel dizzy, it bounces up and down and from side to side. I primarily found that I was using Rocksteady. It gave a super nice perspective whilst really showcasing the speed that the rider was going at, fitting in the handlebars and giving space for either side of the trail, which on reviewing the footage, it made the rider feel like they were going even faster than they actually were. If we move on to talk about Rocksteady 3.0 Plus, you can see it crops in quite a bit more. In fact, it crops in so much that almost the edge of the handlebars are no longer in frame. So you don't get that perspective of seeing the edge of the trail, then the handlebars, and also what's ahead of you. It crops in for me just a little bit too much, then there is horizon balancing. And this again is really nice. You can actually move the camera from 45 degrees to 45 degrees on either side and it'll keep the horizon completely level. It won't change. However, there were a few turns when I was riding with it that I'd be pushing in so hard and leaning in that I'd be past that 45 degree angle and the camera and the stabilization couldn't quite work out where to be and it would just jitter a little bit. So that's why primarily for all of my point of view shooting when I'm out on my mountain bike, I keep it in Rocksteady 3.0 to give the widest perspective, to get the handlebars in there and to see the trail ahead of you. And I think it just gives a really nice frame. 
DJI are aiming this action camera for those who are perhaps wanting a bit more of a professional look. The camera allows you to shoot 10 bit D log M, which is going to give you a huge range of potential when it comes to post production. You can color the clips to exactly how you want to grade them, and it just offers the end user a little bit more flexibility. Here's some clips to just show you as an example as to what you can actually achieve. Let's talk about the settings on my DJI Osmo Action 4 camera from mountain biking. So if we just unclip it, push the button in, turn it, pull it off, something I really appreciate is just how easy that is to do. And then we go on to the settings, I'm running in 4K at 24 frames per second. That's gonna give me a really nice perception of speed. I've got it in that ultra view mode with Rocksteady 3.0 turned on. I've not gone for the plus setting because it just crops in a little bit too much. If you go and turn on the pro settings, you can also adjust the white balance and play with the exposure. I've left both of these in their auto mode just because it's gonna detect the scene that you're in and adjust accordingly. And also for that shutter speed, you want to have as much light coming into the camera to help with the stabilization. Let's clip this back on and we can carry on the ride. I've really been appreciating just how user-friendly this camera is. The interface is so easy just to swipe through the menu, make changes, even on the side of the trail, super quick. The screen is really, really responsive. There's no lags, there's no bugginess. You tap a button and it automatically moves to the next step. It makes for adjusting and setting up the camera so, so easy. The magnetic clips I mentioned in the unboxing part of this video are just a complete game changer. I mean, look how easy they are to actually mount the camera onto. You can have this preset on your chesty or on your helmet already, and the camera just snaps in super easy and super responsive. It's a really nice and efficient system to use. And this battery pack is so nice. You can just pop them in and it actually tells you how much charge you have through a traffic light system. Red for no charge, you've got an amber and you've also got green for when it's fully charged. It's fast to charge up. It's just nice to have all your batteries in the case and not loose inside a backpack. The other thing that I really like is the protective frame. So you can just pop the camera into it really easy, slide it in lock it and then with it you've actually got the option to do vertical frames so you can mount the camera on your chest and straight away you're going to be able to capture vertical frames giving you that really nice wide field of view for your instagram stories and reels with that a pro tip that i've got whenever i'm shooting with any action camera is to try and expose it to as much light as possible i like shooting into the sun it's going to help the sensor stabilize that footage a little bit crispier going to see the edges of things a little bit more and it just looks really really clean. One thing that I really noticed when I was using the Osmo Action 4 especially when I was going from open sections to say into the woods was just how good it was at your light sensitivity. There would be some sections where it was really bright and then dark you'd get that same quality of stabilization you'd get that same image quality and it wouldn't take the camera too long to actually adjust to the conditions that you're riding in. The DJI Osmo Action 4 Adventure Combo, which is what I have here with the three batteries, comes in at £469, and the standard package, which comes with one single battery, comes in at £379. I found for a day of mountain biking out on the trails, I used one full battery, and it was nice to have that second one as a backup so I could never miss a moment and capture all the day's trails. So for that, I would recommend going for the Adventure Combo just because you get a super nice charge case and three batteries. Overall, I'm super happy with the quality and capabilities of this camera. DJI are marketing it as a progressive and professional camera, and I think it meets exactly that, from having the amazing image quality, the great stabilization, and the ability to color that D-Log N. The final image that you get out of the camera is absolutely stunning. 
There we go. I think that sums up everything that I've learned about the DJI Osmo Action 4. I'm going to switch over to using this for basically all my point of view content. If you've got any questions about the DJI Osmo Action 4, leave them in the comment section. If you're interested in getting a DJI Osmo Action 4 for yourself, you can find a link in the description. If you enjoyed this video and found it useful, give it a thumb up like. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the trails.